I have a new favorite streamer. I can't fucking get enough of her her content. And there, there is um, a video of hers that I haven't watched. This is going to be an authentic live Let's reaction of um, her claiming that pinkwashing imperialism isn't real. It's not, it's not a thing, apparently. It's not a thing. Apparently, the US does not use its um, intelligence apparatuses such as the CIA and its extensions like the NED and USAID, etc. in order to fund seemingly progressive causes in other countries in order to fool idiotic American liberals who they know fully well are just going to blindly support anything, even if the entire point of the US doing so is to try and destabilize that country and try and force it to change its economic system in some way that would be more beneficial to the USA. Um, the USA needs to stay in Afghanistan for, um, um, hold on, hold on. What reason are they? Um, women's rights. Yes, women's rights. Women's rights. That's why. That's why. That's why. And now the USA needs to, um, support, uh, gay rights. Gay rights. Yes. Gay rights in Vietnam. That's what the USA needs needs to help there and not with any ulterior motives okay no ulterior motives here 100 percent authentic we just we just love human rights for gay people it really is that simple and this is the sort of person who it's for it's precisely what i've gone over in my videos on like the greenwashing us funded ngos but just just change like um oh we care about the environment we're definitely not just the regime change psyop to oh we care about gay people we're definitely not just the regime change psyop and what they do the whole mo of people like demon mama is to take the fact that the usa is factually funding like one group of dishonest regime change agents and then frame you pointing that out as you being against any lgbt rights any lgbt rights group anything so it's the only trick they have and i guarantee you're in this in this clip that we're about to watch it's exactly what is going to happen let's do it god let's do it hi it's luna so welcome back to luna i here in fashion and activism here in vietnam at least 1.65 million people in vietnam identify as lgbtq plus including me and we have had LGBTQ plus in Vietnam for hundreds of years. Let's to see. this day, never in the history of Vietnam have same-sex legal acts been criminalized in Vietnam. Is now that recently, true? Wait, is it true that same-sex acts have never been criminalized in Vietnam? Couples are ineligible for the legal protections available to opposite-sex couples. No anti-discrimination protections exist for LGBT people whatsoever. As of 2015, reports of discrimination against LGBT people- Okay, so she's reading a bunch of things that are not a refutation of what Luna said. Luna said, same-sex sexual acts have never been criminalized. What she's reading is not criminalized. That's not what criminalization is. Criminalization is not like, um, say, there is a law that says you can get married, but the law is only allows a marriage between a man and a woman. Criminalization is an explicit law that says, for example, like, you know, you cannot have gay sex under the punishment of law. So what Luna said there is technically true. And what Diva Mama is saying here is doesn't not refute that at all. It's the same thing that a lot of people say about the USSR, that in the early USSR, because they abolished the entire Cyrus legal code, technically there was no explicit law against um, LGBT people for like 20 or 30 years or so until Stalin, I believe, came in and made one. I could be slandering Stalin there, but I don't care. So she hears one thing, and her refutation is to just Google LGBT law, Vietnam, and just read it verbatim and be like, oh, I just proved her wrong. She said that there has never been explicit criminalization of LGBT, LGBT people in Vietnam. Nothing that she's saying here is proving it wrong. She's just like such a just insufferable person. It's unbelievable. Or not common. However, with about 20% of people being LGBT people reported being beaten by family members when they came out. What does that have to do with the fucking claim that was made? Homophobia exists in Vietnam. Ergo, your claim that LGBT relations have never been criminalized in Vietnam, that's wrong because I'm reading something else. Mm. And, her, and her chat is like, damn, what a liar. What a liar. Dude, these people are so fucking dumb. It's incredible how stupid they are. Dude, I, I guarantee you that coming out in the USA, you know, at, le at least 10% of people have a fucking terrible coming out experience in the USA as well. Just because homophobes exist in a country doesn't mean that explicit criminalization of LGBT relations exists. Because they don't. That's not what she said. It's literally just changing the claim that was made to 
try and pin her on something totally unrelated and just imply that you apparently address what she said. So from the very beginning, this is like, I, I already am hooked on the demon mama, man. She's fucking great. This is like, all that she does is this sort of slimy shit. One, a survey found that 82% of Vietnamese believe that homosexuality <clears throat> is never acceptable. She literally, she's like the, the, the fucking the Googler. She's like the meme, the Googler. Ah, I'm Googling. What? You just said something? I didn't know anything about this. What I'm going to do right now is just immediately Google, and I'm just going to read verbatim everything that I see uncritically without even checking if any of it is true. A survey said this? A survey said that? We already have plenty of precedent for Western surveys in Vietnam just completely making shit up or lying about the question that they ask in order to get their preferred results, as I've gone over with um, the pure research data in the past. But you think Demon Mom would ever think about critically analyzing the shit that she's just reading? No, because the reason that she's reading it is because these people have an incredibly and obviously racist obsession with hating Luna Oi. And that, it really is that simple. So I'm just going to read verbatim random shit off Google. Amazing start. This is this is fucking classic Demon Mama. I've only ever watched one Demon Mama video, but I already know this is classic Demon Mama. Incredible. In 2007, Ho Chi Minh City Pedagogical in in University conducted a poll of 300 pupils at three junior highs and high schools and discovered 80% of pupils answered no when asked homosexuality is bad. In, in, in March 20, 2004, or sorry, 2014, indicated that 33% of Vietnamese supported same-sex sex marriage, whereas 53% were opposed. An online survey ca carried out in December 2016. What does any of this have to do with anything that Luna Oi said? And like the, the one before the last one, 80% 80 of people who were asked if homosexuality was bad, according to her, said no. Okay, you're just reading shit like fucking rapid fire machine gun reading random shit that she finds on Google and none of it is related. Hold on, we already get the point here. Let's skip this guy. Hmm. Hmm. If I say hmm, maybe my, maybe my chat won't notice the fact that nothing that I said is even remotely directly dealing with the claim that was made, which was specifically that LGBT relations have never been criminalized in Vietnam. She's even citing opinion polls. What the fuck? Just make, make a face at the camera. Make a face at the camera. And perhaps your dumb fucking audience who is too stupid to notice that you just fail to directly deal with the claim being made in any way, shape or form won't notice. Just keep making a face at the camera. Publications such as, I don't know how to pronounce this, two oh, state me let's go. Let's keep going. Spoke of homosexuality as a disease and deviant behavior that is incompatible with the good morals and time-honored customs of Vietnam. Huh. It's still legal to get married <clears throat> in Vietnam. Yeah, it is. That's what we just read that. So I don't think this is very accurate, is it? How is it not accurate? Literally, none of what you said is a reputation to what she said. Unbelievable. But, but remember... I'm Remember, I am the bad leftist for, for, for having a joke on my I channel. I think you're a bad leftist for being fucking stupid. Honestly. You're a bad leftist because, one, your beliefs are just right-wing. And for two, you're fucking dumb. You're stupid as fuck. I'm not a leftist. We have a strong turnout at Bright Parade and significant activism for- Wait a second, here we go. Dude, let her speak for more than two seconds. What are the sources on this? What are the sources on this? What are the sources on yours? Mm, I'm gonna Google random shit and just read everything verbatim uncritically that I see in the, like the first fucking thing that I see in a Google search and just read it all verbatim. I just fucking epically owned you. This is the average streamer. This is amazing. This is the best representation of the average pol politics streamer I've ever seen. Vietnam accused of teaching gay people that being gay is a disease. This is the Guardian, okay? This is the Guardian. Young people in Vietnam continue to be taught at home and at school that same-sex attraction is a disease and a mental illness that can be cured and treated despite legislation designed to support and protect LGBTQ rights. Stay so look, Explicitly, explicitly, despite legislation designed to support and protect LGBTQ rights. People in Vietnam are homophobic. Ergo, this somehow proves that LGBT relations have been criminalized. The claim that was made. She's still going on about this. It's been like four straight fucking minutes. And she's still trying to debunk a very specific claim by just referencing completely irrelevant shit. Amazing. I'm just going to skip this at this point. Like, holy shit. Prejudice against LGBTQ plus people his chat, saying, his, his chat is saying I'm a fake trans. That doesn't surprise me. Who's That's chat? the same shit. Remember that people shit happened when I engaged up. with another one of their friends. And I wasn't even joking with them then. It is far too common for LGBTQ plus kids to be bullied in school. And of course, I was disappointed that in 2014, when I proposed tell him to, come on. to legalize... Tell them to come on. We'll sort it right now. Yuris McCroll, just tell him to come on and I'll, I'll sort it right now. I hope and trust that... I would love to see, like, the Demon Mama debate strategy just... 
randomly Google something that is not at all what the other person said and then just read every single thing you said, like rapid fire verbatim, and hope that they just get bored and leave. As we continue to fight, we will win more rights and change more minds here in Vietnam. But I have to say, over the last 10 years, I think we have gained a lot of acceptance and made a lot of progress. And I believe this progress will continue. If you want to learn more about LGBTQ plus issues in Vietnam, check the description for some links. But this particular video is not really about the LGBTQ plus community and our fight for rights and acceptance here in Vietnam. It's about how our fight is being used by outside agents to try Good to, to know, destabilize and undermine look. our society. Unfortunately, we in the LGBTQ plus community are being used by the USA State Department, intelligence agencies, and non-government organizations as a weapon against socialism. And three striped anti-communist agents are trying to co-op our fight. Wait a second. Whoa! Hold on a second. Like, everything, nothing that she's saying here is remotely controversial, by the way. The US actually does this everywhere, and I guarantee you Luna is like two seconds away from citing something that is just in the open on a publicly available fucking USAID or NED website that shows it, and Demon Mom's reaction is to pause and just go, Wait! Whoa! 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 How could you possibly say that? Whoa! Wow, this is the politics streamer par excellence. I've never seen a better representation of what they are than this. Whoa! We just show. Wow! Hold on a second. Whoa! Hold on a second. Whoa! Just make faces and m make noises in between reading the first shit you see on Google verbatim. Oh my god! Amazing. It's literally Uga Booga. She's Uga Booging right now. She's having a fucking crug moment. Description for some links. But this particular video is not really about the LGBTQ plus community and our fight for rights and acceptance here in Vietnam. It's about how our fight is being used by outside agents to try to destabilize and undermine our society. Unfortunately, LGBT rights are being used by outside agents to undermine communism. Holy shit. And? We in the LGBTQ plus community are being used by the USA State Department, intelligence agencies, and non-government organizations by society. Unfortunately, we in the LGBTQ plus community- We in the- She just keeps playing it back. I- Can you get to the fucking evidence? She's making a claim that she's going to back up with evidence. This is what people who aren't you do. For their own ulterior color revolution- She's literally just crugging. She's crugging the fuck out. She's going, Ooga booga, me no like what you say. Socialism government. So, what is color yes, revolution- Luna Wei is- is LGBTQ. I don't know what she is, but she identifies under the label. Revolution. And is a color revolution really a revolution at all? First, because we are talking about Vietnam, a Marxist-Leninist nation. Let's look at revolution from a Marxist-Leninist perspective. We consider revolution. Now, for one, the, the, this is a vast overstatement. The U.S. funds like a couple, a couple of um, human rights NGOs and like individual actors here and there, individual groups here and there. That's not a color revolution. She's giving, she's really giving the U.S. far too much credit here. The U.S. is certainly not at the stage of fermenting a color revolution in Vietnam. But you know, you don't, you don't need to raise the alarms for anything close to that yet. What the U.S. does in Vietnam is it tries to, it tries to engage with Vietnam, get as much as it can from it, while simultaneously behind the scenes try to like push a nudge. Vietnam towards making its system more animal, more amenable towards U.S. interests, as in neoliberalizing, opening up even more to private capital, etc., etc. And the way that it does this is essentially by the same thing that it does everywhere else, but kind of a bit more neutered, less open and obvious, because the goals that they're pushing for there, you know, they're not so immediate that, you know, it's not like they, they want to overthrow the Vietnamese government today, but they would like to, like, maybe gradually contribute to, like, um, like a gradual change in the Vietnamese government's position, or maybe, like, make an overthrow an option further down the line. So we're nowhere near the stage of color revolution yet. What we are at the stage of is what basically what the U.S. does everywhere, which is using the NED and USAID to fund and support um, individuals, NGOs, etc., or f sometimes even form their own NGOs, shit like that, in order to try to push these countries on certain wedge wedge issues that they have identified as appealing to like Western Western audiences, and that, so that then Vietnam. So yeah, basically the the goal of it is is to have like these. LGBT people like say, and I think in this case it was like one LGBT lawmaker or maybe a political candidate whose links to like the NED or USAID were pointed out by like the Vietnamese government or Vietnamese journalists or, or Luna or something like that. I don't remember the full story. It's, it's been a while. And once that happened, it was framed by far right fascists like Demon Mama as like, um, oh my God, the Vietnamese state is literally attacking LGBT activists. 
while removing the fact that the guy in question is literally factually a US state funded propaganda agent. Vietnam undoubtedly has many real LG pro LGBT rights activists. Undoubtedly, many of them who probably don't even like the government, unlike Luna Oi. But those who are funded by the fucking US government certainly can be claimed to be US government agents whose entire fucking purpose is incredibly dishonest. They're not there to win LGBT rights, to fight for LGBT rights for people in Vietnam. They're there so that the Western media can point to them and be like, look at these fucking backward people in Vietnam. You know what they need? They need freedom and human rights. And you know what that means? Well, neoliberalism, baby. Democracy and freedom. Maybe an invasion 20 years down the line, who knows? That's what it's about. They're a slow burn of manufactured consent, and it starts with shit like this. So it's not, a, it's not like a color revolution or anything, but it could be far down the line. It just doesn't happen overnight. Evolution to be the highest form of class struggle, during which the oppressed class rises up and overthrows oppressive class through... So, and a way that they do this is they try to frame issues, particularly in Vietnam, sometimes China, Cuba a lot as well. They try to frame political issues, like people being like, hey, government, you need to change these laws. You need to make better laws for us. They try to frame that as those people wanting to overthrow the government. And that's what they do in cases like this as well. It's like, you will have like an LGBT group that, for example, lobbies the government um, to pass like laws to protect LGBT people and give LGBT, LGBT people more rights, etc. And then you have like the one guy from the NGO, the US funded NGO, who does everything possible, who like doesn't say that. You know, he says, we need to overthrow the government so that we can have democracy and freedom and LGBT rights. There's clear differences there. And the Western media loves to report on that one sort of um, activist and not so much on the others. Regime change. And, and the yeah, she's just fucking dumb. Rest class thus takes power from the oppressive class. We must not mistake this for political protest, activism or reform. Even within a very healthy and just socialist society, political protests and activism and reforms are sometimes necessary to gain awareness for a minority group and to allow the people free expression for their social problems. So when I go to Bride Parade or make a Facebook post demanding awareness and support for LGBTQ plus people, that doesn't mean I want to overthrow the government. It just means I see this as a very important area that demands attention and change for social progress. Protest is not the same as revolution because it doesn't aim to change the whole social regime. It just aims to change aspects of the existing social regime. We must also not confuse revolution with political coups. A political coup involves a small group of people using violence to take power over the majority. Usually this is backed by either the military or foreign power. For example, Pinochet seized power by coup with the military and backed by the USA in Chile in 1973. There was also a USA backed coup I feel, against- I feel like I might have spoken too soon because it feels like Luna is like getting towards saying what I was saying with this not being like explicitly uh, something to worry about like right now more or less a few years ago in Bolivia. And the USA attempted and failed to stage a coup in Venezuela. But I, we, we'll probably never get there because Demon Mom is just gonna pause it and make faces at the screen. Uh, in 2020. Yep, I remember we covered, we covered that. Revolution was used to refer to we various political that. movements in Russia and the Balkans in the early 2000s. They included the Orange Revolution in Ukraine, the Rose Revolution in Georgia, the Tulip Revolution in Kyrgyzstan, and so on. Even though such quote-unquote revolutions happened in many different places, in different times and for different reasons, there is one thing in common. They were all backed by the capitalist imperialist West, which is led by the USA. The purpose of color revolutions is to create chaos, to separate and sabotage a sovereign country, and to make it easier for foreign power to intervene and then control. There can be many motivations for staging a color revolution. But in Vietnam, we have had to struggle against USA-backed color revolution attempts, mostly because we are a socialist society trying to build a path towards communism, and this threatens the hegemony of global capitalism. On the outside, these color revolutionists usually claim to care about the people to fight for democracy. Yeah, we're going to watch the video. We're going to watch the video, Herulian Hellhound, but I'm just very suspicious of that type of, um, uh, of that type of, uh, uh, rhetoric. Usually, it's the common people of the target nation who suffer the most due to color revolutions, even more than they did before. Just look at what has been going on in Chile, Red Bolivia, Pill, DM them to me on Discord. for some- God, she just, she just ignores everything. She's just like sitting there listening for keywords that she can respond to by like Googling something and then reading out the first thing she finds that doesn't even have anything to do with what's being said. This is so bad. She's just waiting for a chance to ooga booga. She's waiting for a chance to crug out. Unbelievable. Very obvious examples. 
So, Color Revolution is an elegant name. Yeah, it's like someone who took the time and effort to make an edited video. And then we have the fucking Ooga Booga Caveman Reactor. Sorry, Cave Woman Reactor here, who just like fucking makes noises and faces without being able to actually explain anything or refute anything. This is the streamer. This is Streamer Manifest. There was the man back in the 80s who said this was Democracy Manifest. This is Streamer Manifest. For something much darker. In the case of Vietnam, you could actually think of counter revolutions that the USA and other Western powers backed against us to be more like counter revolutions against our socialist society. Okay. Western powers have a long history now of using the LGBTQ plus cynically for their own gain. In the USA, it's very common for corporations to pinkwash their brands by appealing to us with surface level shows of support that are really little more than niche marketing campaigns. LGBTQ plus politicians like Pete Buttigieg cynically use their own identities to push neoliberal, imperialist, and warmongering agendas, very true. as well as domestic very policies, true. which. Um, I think Dima Mama seems a bit disappointed that she hasn't really found any any um any opportunities to to Uga Booga yet. Would financially devastate the LGBTQ plus community in the USA. And now, Western powers are exporting this exploitation and weaponization. She's just sitting there waiting to hear the keywords that she can jump on. And then debunk with by talking about something that doesn't even debunk what she was trying to debunk. I love it. A streamer. The At least I get to watch a, a, a half decent video in the process. The plus movement to drive insidious kind of revolutions, including here in Vietnam. All around the world, Wait, hold, hold we on. in the LGBTQ. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And now Western powers are exporting this exploitation and weaponization of the LGBTQ plus movement to drive insidious kind of revolutions, including here in Vietnam. All around the world, we in the LGBTQ plus community have dealt with homophobia, transphobia, and other forms of bigotry for centuries. And of course, wherever we are in the world, we welcome solidarity and support from our siblings in foreign nations. But what we do not want is to be used as pawns by sprawling empires to destroy our movement against global imperialism. So let's take a look at recent example of color revolutionary activity here in Vietnam, which is so cynically exploits our LGBTQ. Okay, here's here's the plan here. Okay. I'm just going to get to the part where Luna shows like the people or the groups in question openly being sent money by the USA openly on a US government website that just lists them as if it's a normal thing, a normal everyday thing. And then see Demon Mama like just fucking scream Ooga Booga and fucking hit her computer with a club and then we'll stop. That's about as far as I'm going to get here. Plus community, as I said before, is an unfortunate fact. Vietnam does not recognize same-sex marriage. We almost, almost passed that law in 2014, but nope, we didn't, and I strongly disagree with Vietnamese government about this issue. Let me repeat it again. It is unacceptable that we do not yet have legalized gay marriage in Vietnam. Also, it's an unfortunate fact that Vietnam recognizes marriage of trans people only if they have changed their gender in the family books. And the procedure for changing gender in the family books has a lot of gray areas, so this is a battle that is still being fought. And they are various other legal... Okay, but remember, this video was opened with claiming that Vietnam had never discriminated legally against gay people. Is that what was said? I myself am bisexual, and Let's as I have discussed claim. in previous videos, we have a vibrant culture of expression and activism here in Vietnam. At least 1.65 million people in Vietnam identify as LGBTQ+, including me. And we have had LGBTQ plus in Vietnam for hundreds of years. Let's to see. this day, never in the history of Vietnam have same-sex legal acts been criminalized in Vietnam. Is never in the history of Vietnam have same-sex legal has same-sex acts been criminalized, legally criminalized. Now, Demon Mama relies on completely changing what was said to discrimination, to discriminate it against. From this is the the streamer. This is streamer manifest. She's the best example of a streamer I've ever seen. Just completely fucking lying. So she lied about what Luna said, went on like a five, five minute long tangent, just Googling, oh, I'm Googling, oh, oh, I'm Googling some completely unrelated shit. And now she's reiterating that again here, when that's not what Luna said at all. Still being fought. And they are various other legal- Okay, but remember, this video was opened with claiming that Vietnam had never discriminated. Fucking idiot legally against gay people come on and i guarantee you like demon mama would respond to me I, this is obviously going off on my channel this is too fucking good not to demon mama would respond to me in a second if she thought she had a chance but she knows she doesn't she like her, all of her content is just her sitting in a corner in the corner of the screen and just making noises me no like me no like this person say bad thing about me me no like ah, ah. she's gonna ignore me and that is like the best 
fucking indication you have that she is conceding and she has no fucking idea how to possibly respond because she doesn't have a way to respond. How is she going to explain away the fact that she just fucking lies about what people say and then goes on like 10 minute long tangents where she just reads off summaries that she sees in the first five results of a Google search. She's so fucking dumb. The problems we face here in Vietnam in the LGBTQ plus community. I say this in no uncertain terms. So please don't comment saying that I'm trying to be an apologist for these policies because that's not the case at all. Okay. But also, I hope you will recognize that we Vietnamese LGBTQ plus have a voice in Vietnam. We are standing up and fighting for ourselves. And while we welcome your support and solidarity as our LGBTQ plus siblings, we do not need or ask for white saviors and we do not want imperialist foreign nations undermining our sovereignty for their own selfish reasons. Okay, so now I hope I can finally talk about the actual topics of this video. An ongoing attempt at color Yeah, she lo like she was wrong there. She said no gay acts were illegal, but gay marriage is illegal. I would She said LGBT relations have never been criminalized. Not being criminalized is not the same thing as not being included in certain positive laws. These people don't fucking know anything. It's unbelievable. I would say that gay marriage is a gay act. That is fucking in Vietnam, which the West is staging, using LGBTQ plus people for their own ends. In my video- Marriage in the first place is a fucking legal construct, right? It's not something that just, so, that just like exists in a vacuum. Like the, the thing with marriage is that it's legal. Either you can legally get married or you can't, right? So marriage existing is a positive right, right? It's not a right being taken away from you. It's a right being so-called given to you because what, what like a state recognized marriage is, is essentially like um, you legally binding yourself to another person as, a, as like a, a singular legal entity in many respects, okay? That's what it is. The claim was there have never been any negative laws discriminating against LGBT people, okay? Laws that explicitly are against them, that criminalize them from doing things, right? She didn't claim that there are, there, there are not laws like that give certain rights or privileges or whatever that they are not excluded in. It's the difference between negative and positive. These people don't fucking know anything about anything, man. Why do we need to explain that? How do elections work in Vietnam? Yeah, I that's talk terrible. about Luong Thay Huy, an independent candidate who ran for national representative in our National Assembly. Okay. When I first heard about him and knew that he was a member of LGBTQ plus community, he's gay, I was very happy. I, just like many other Vietnamese people, and especially LGBTQ plus people, were very pleased to see a gay man getting involved with national politics. But then I studied more about him and I found out he was working for ISEE, the Institute for Studies of Society, Economy and Environment. And this institute is funded by USAID. If you're not familiar with USAID... So this is exactly what the point where I said I would, I would stop, right? We get to the point where the guy works for a US fucking funded NGO. How does Demon Mama possibly fucking reconcile this with her just trying to offhandedly dismiss everything here? How is it possible? Does she think that the US funds like, um, like, like a, a fucking NGO in Vietnam because it wants Vietnam to be a great land for everyone with diamonds and rainbows and a, and a great anarchist socialist society? Or does the US fund NGOs not just in Vietnam, but all over the world for its own heinous ulterior motives, its own disgusting imperialist ulterior motives that at the end of the day are in, are in direct conflict with the interests of people in the places, in the places that are doing this to you, the people who actually live there. Obviously, because what the, UN's want, what the US always wants, what their end goal always is, is to promote the most barbarous forms of capitalism possible for the advantage of US corporations and global capitalism in general. So how does someone like this, who pertains to be like a lefty, leftist anarchist streamer, possibly fucking reconcile the fact that they're just offhandedly dismissing this? How do they possibly reconcile the fact that this fucking organization is clearly funded by the US? Clearly, because the US either set it up themselves, which they usually do, or clearly thinks that this organization is fucking perfect for their interests, which I just outlined, which are very fucking bad and detrimental for the people of Vietnam or any other country. How do you square you just trying to offhandedly dismiss this with that? It's unfucking believable. And she can't, so she's just gonna crag out. Watch, we'll see. The, we'll get to the crag out and then we'll finish. Also known as the United States Agency for International Development, is an agency of the United States federal government that is primarily responsible for administering quote unquote foreign aid and development assistance. According to Peter Korbler, the director of the Cuba Documentation Project at the National Security Archive, 
USA was created in 1961. Wait, wait, okay, okay. The National Security Archive, by the way, I think it's at the University of Georgia. It's a very good website. A very, it's not just a website, it's an actual archive. George Washington University. And they, they, they are the first to release a lot of, um, a lot of documents regarding um, formerly covert US government actions. Hold on a second. So, this guy worked oh my God, her brain can't. for an organization that received money from a U.S. NGO, and that makes him not- A U.S. NGO? She thinks USAID is an NGO? Worthy. Makes him not worthy. The guy works for a U.S.-funded NGO, and I just fucking went over what the U.S. wants in its funding of NGOs around the world. So yeah. That makes him disqualified. Why do these people not get this? Wait, so wait, so wait. This is the equivalent of her, but for the US, for, but for the fucking Yankoid, Russia Gator. So wait, so wait. This guy just received funding from the Russian state, and that makes him dis disqualified? Not worthy? Kayla Morpin, undoubtedly, she's complained about Kayla Morpin being funded by Russia. I just put it in a way that she should be able to understand, even though it's barely even the same thing. Huh. Ha! <laughs> She just like says something that is a, that is really just an insult to herself that she has to caricature what's being said in such a ridiculous way because she just can't understand it. And then says, ha, huh, like she just fucking owned her. Okay. To have the United States win the hearts and minds of citizens in poor countries through civic action, economic and I mean, that's the implication. Yeah, she's implying that the gay guy is a US agent. I mean, that- if, you're, if you work for a fucking US cutout NGO, yes, you're functionally an agent for the for U.S. imperial interests, or even possibly a direct agent of the U.S. government. You might not know it, but let's let's fucking face it. You work for an institute like that. Generally, you know who's paying you. Like, give me a fucking break, because they're open about it. this. Isn't secret funding? This is open open fucking funding right there on their website. She cannot reconcile. She can't deal with this. Or just like, um, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know. I can't actually explain why it's bad. All they can be like is. He's gay and you're saying we shouldn't like him? That's so homophobic. It's not, she's not saying it directly, but that's the implication. Assistance. As a Cold War policy too, the agency was, at times, used as front for CIA operations. Among the most infamous examples was the Office of Public Safety, a USAID police training program in the Southern Cone. In the 21st century, USAID has sure over time its tainted legacy and undertaken humanitarian, political, and economic work around the world. Okay. It runs democracy promotion efforts from Afghanistan to Kenya, building political leadership capacity, electoral education, and registration programs. And Judy it's Sorry fucking incredible that these people manage, they managed to turn this video into like a fucking skewering of Luna, by the way, trying to frame her as like LGBT candidate, CIA? Luna always hates gay people. She thinks LGBT rights is CIA PSYOP. That's the kind of dumb shit they were saying. You have to be so fucking dumb to watch this and actually believe what these people are telling you about what you're seeing. I don't understand. Where do their viewers come from? They must all be fucking 11 years old. It's unbelievable. Okay, so see, now people are popping into chat. Now people are coming in and um and ch and saying oh yeah yeah see this is this is how it works see this is how imperialism works it un it get goes in and gets in there with the gays ah oh, come on come on oh like uh, oh jesus say something oh say something try to refute anything that's being said say something say oh something boy. okay let's look at these things in a bit let's continue Data controversy. It is when USAID undertakes discrete regime change operations that it runs into trouble. Indeed, its Office of Transition Initiatives now seems to be competing with, or at least complementing the CIA on high-tech propaganda and destabilization programs in Cuba, if not elsewhere as well. Since this article was written, USAID has admitted to pushing for regime change in Venezuela. You yeah, you think you're a leftist? Did you get a Did you get a coronavirus check? Checkmate. You've been paid by the U.S. government. Paid shill for the what? You receive, you're receiving money from a U.S. cutout NGO in another country that is explicitly there for the purposes of furthering U.S. interests in that country. How is that the same thing as getting a coronavirus check? How is that the same thing as getting welfare? She's trying to compare that to like some person in the USA getting welfare? Dude, for you is like a CIA agent the same thing as, the same thing as like some fucking single mother who accepts money from the U.S. government to fucking feed her kids for you? That's the same thing? I, this is unbelievable. This is the... If you don't trust the CIA, then That's who do you trust? How could anyone say that and think it's a good fucking point? You are paid 
by the fucking US government to further their interests in a country on the other side of the world, a poor country that they actually invaded and destroyed just fucking 40, 50 years ago? Wow, that's exactly the same thing as getting a coronavirus check from Joseph Biden for half of what he promised you. Same fucking thing. The US government. As aid has embedded aid workers with military and intelligence agencies. And this is, look at her face, she's fucking... She is absolutely fucking mesmerized right now. She has no idea, absolutely no idea what to say. She's just so confused. Like, she's clearly never even thought about the fact that the USA funds fucking PSYOPs all around the world. And her receiving this information, it's like, mm, so this is clearly pretty true, but I need to find something to be angry about. Um, this is just like complaining about people receiving welfare. Same thing, exact same thing. This guy who, who's an employee of a fucking US funded NGO in Vietnam trying to fucking um, to spread US interests in Vietnam. Now that is exactly the same as receiving welfare. That's my response. Furrow my brow a little bit. Brr. Brr. Oh my God, it's so fucking great. The average streamer is fucking incredible. I, I, how do people watch this? How? Holy fuck. Train US aid employees in CIA stock. Well, Herulian Hellhound, the this is it's not a it's not just a very nuanced point that's being made. This is an ex, this is an extensive claim. The claim of the video is pinkwashed color revolution. And they opened by saying that the LGBTQ movements have been hijacked by the CIA. Like that's a pretty major claim. And so far, this has no, is like I would say that's a dangerous claim. But so far, Dude, how wait, did I fuck not up knowing how reactionary so USA bad. ideas, I know how How did I possibly I just zoomed in. How did I fuck up the dimension so badly? Whatever. I'll just, I'll just cover her. I'm sorry. You won't be able to see her face as much. A reaction or USA ideas. I'm not fucking defending USA ID. I'm just saying that you're making a big claim by saying that the LGBTQ movements in Vietnam are funded and run by the CIA. Literally, she's saying one single guy, one person, one person is funded by USA. One person. She explicitly said that she is a part of and supports the LGBT movement in Vietnam, which by and large doesn't want to overthrow the government as this fucking guy and the USA are obviously invested in doing in the long run. You lying fucking dumbass. All that she can do is just lie. Lie about what's being said. She does it the whole fucking time. Oh, she, she deserves more shit from me. I should just fucking watch her archive every stream. It would not only be very profitable, but it, it would just fucking ruin her entire career. Holy shit. A very dangerous conspiratorial claim, and this is not backing up. That was up never well. made. That was and never fucking made. Tactics. U.S. aid calls these agents super enablers who can better serve U.S. national security efforts. So, as you can see, U.S. aid is not what it claims to be at all. Just like many Western imperialists. Yeah, but see, states do this all the time. I bet Vietnam does this all the time. I bet Vietnam has like department, the Department of Human Well-Being, which actually has like spies working for it or something. You think Vietnam sends spies to the USA to like influence US politics to benefit Vietnamese capitalists and the global Vietnam controlled capitalist system? What the fuck are you even talking about, you stupid motherfucker? And I mean, even if that were actually true, which obviously it's fucking not, what a ridiculous thing to say. You would be against it. You would be vehemently against Feels it. You'd like be like, oh, Vietnamese country. influence in American politics this is so fucking unfair. But in Vietnam, it's fucking okay because all states do it. All states do it. They actually fucking don't. What the f Assuredly, the Vietnamese state has an intelligence agency. But if you think the fucking impoverished by the USA, by the way, by the dis destructive ge Vietnamese genocide they committed against Vietnam, if you think like a Vietnamese intelligence agency is the same fucking thing as fucking American efforts to like fund fucking um, fake NGOs in Vietnam and all around the world. You are, have another fucking thing coming. That's unbelievable. That's a fucking unbelievable claim to make. W one of the main activities of intelligence agencies in poor countries, by the way, is actually to try and stop US operations against them. So this person is fucking unbelievable. Fucking every state on the planet does this. They name their shit like lofty, uh, lofty goals. Like they'll name it like the the, the agency for protecting children. And then where, where's the Vietnamese USAID or the Vietnamese NED? Where? And it'll where be where like, are the Vietnamese NGOs in the USA that are that are concerned with human rights violations? Where? Like oh, they actually go and like kidnap children, but they're protecting them. You see, like yeah, Department of Love. The, it doesn't matter. States do this all the time. It's not just the U.S. Every single fucking state does this. Holy shit! shit. Okay, 30 seconds more, 30 seconds more. In fact, we know for a fact that, that Vietnam does this because they name their shit like they're, they have, they have a philosophy like of Ho Chi Minh thought that is st a state endorsed philosophy. We know for a fact 
that Vietnam does this, and this being making fake NGOs in other countries and funding them openly to try and push um, propaganda that you believe to be advantageous for your geopolitical goals, which are the complete destruct destructive neoliberalization of Vietnam and the destruction of anything resemble whatever whatever there still might be of its socialist system. Um, apparently Vietnam does that too. Every state does that. Vietnam does it too. No, it doesn't. It fucking doesn't. Holy shit, she's so fucking stupid. Well, no, I'm not saying that's an argument against her position. I'm just... When we found out he is working for USAID. Okay, so he wasn't working for USAID. Let's be clear he about He wasn't that. working for USAID. He was just working for a USAID-funded organization. A USAID-funded NGO, okay? Very different. Very different, my friends, okay? That death squad, that CIA-funded death squad, they weren't working for the CIA. They were just working for a death squad funded by the CIA. Destroyed. Ah, oh, holy shit. That he was working for an organization that has taken money from it. We don't have any evidence. Well, the evidence has not yet been provided how much. Secondly, she showed on the screen 230,000 US dollars. Uh, remember what we just read about about how people feel about gay people in Vietnam. Do you think there might be other reasons why many Vietnamese people would not have liked the gay guy when it went somewhere in the ballpark of 50 to you think there is a local Vietnamese gay rights movement that Luna Oi is a fucking part of herself. And I'm pretty sure they are able to choose, pick and choose who they want to fucking vote for. Like what this fucking dumbass is saying here is like, um, um, some people don't like Pete Buttigieg because he's gay. Okay. Not just, not just because his politics are neoliberal hell. It's because he's gay. So... Clearly, this is all because he's fucking gay. Nothing to do with him being a, a fucking clear agent for US imperialism just because he's gay. Okay, that's that's all. That's all. We're done. We don't need to see more of this. This is too fucking stupid. This much stupidity in such a short amount of time. Highly concentrated. Probably the the most pure stupidity, stupidity you'll ever find. Like 99.99% stupidity. I seriously doubt that there's anything else in here that is even worth responding to. It's, it's all just laugh. Theon Marmer is a subject to be laughed at. She is... Krug personified. And um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't hope for someone to be a better example of the fucking joke that is these politics of aid streamers. Holy fuck, man. Concentrated stupidity. Yeah, that is that is a great way to put it. Amazing. She's about to get racist? Nah, man. The whole thing is racist. The reason they hate Luna Oi is because it's specifically because she is a Vietnamese, per Vietnamese person from Vietnam who does not hate her government. And that just crushes that image of like, what? what like um people from u.s victim western victim countries are supposed to be they're supposed to hate their government they're supposed to basically like turn themselves into useful idiots for western imperialism luna oi doesn't do that and that fucking pisses them off so much luna oi doesn't like buy into the civilizing mission rhetoric that these fucking morons expect her to and for them that is reason enough to hate her these people think like colonizers they have the brain of colonizers regardless of how much they would tell you they don't it's all fucking racism. How else could you explain them willingly represent, misrepresenting every single little fucking thing she has to say to attack her on her saying the most basic, truthful shit Feels constantly. like he supports the Holocaust. It's so fucking clear what it's really about. There, yeah, no more, I promise. No more, no more demon mama for at least a little bit until I find another incredible video of hers to respond to. Holy shit, she's incredible. She's amazing. It's not even on Demon Mama's channel. Like, someone else uploaded this, like, oh man, my favorite streamer totally fucking owned this person. I'm gonna upload it to show everyone how much they got owned. This makes me want to go and live in a cave. Like Ted Kaczynski, minus the, minus the um, reactionary views and the bombs. Jesus. Anyway, who wants to give me money?